Welcome to this session everyone. In this session we are going to talk about pre-requests to install bind and uh, bind installation itself. So guys, uh, first pre-request is to have static IP address for your DNS server. This is must and recommended to have a static IP address for the NIC card which we are going to use for DNS communications. Why we need uh, static IP? Reason being uh, let's say you are using DSCP or uh, dynamic IP and uh, the lease expires and your system is going to get a new IP and that is going to stop everything working because your IP address is changed on which your DNS server was configured. So what it means a complete uh, breakdown of your services or you can say outage even if you are using that particular server for your lab setup only but I wouldn't like my setup to break due to IP address changes. So always use static IP address for your DNS name. Other thing, uh, in the local host file on DNS server itself, we are going to add a local host record to make sure the name resolution works locally. You can see here, this is IP address of my DNS server ending with 200 as I mentioned before. This is FQDN name, master is the server name, opensky.home is going to be my domain name and this is the alias master. I'm keeping SC Linux disabled but that's up to you. If you want to keep that enabled, there is no harm and I have already listed steps to configure SC Linux on files once we finish with our configuration. But again, uh, in my lab setup, I'm keeping it disabled. After that, next thing is bind DNS server software installation. To install software, basically that bind is available on CentOS repositories. So simply do yum install bind. Bind is basically the bind DNS server, then bind dash utils. Bind dash utils deliver NS lookup kind of uh, utilities which are required. I'm saying yes. And once installation is finished, just verify bind RPMs are installed. So let's do a quick lab here. So guys, this is my server, which we are going to configure as our bind DNS server. Let me run a couple of commands to show you the setup. It's a uh, CentOS 7. It is CentOS 7. And uh, let me show you the network configuration. In my server, it one is going to be interface, which I'm I'm going to use for DNS communication. I'm just scrapping boot proto keyword and you can see it is set to none, which is basically not using DSCP. Then let's check etc host file. So right now there is no entry for local host uh, master server. Let's add that entry. So here going to add entry 192.168.1.200 this is the IP of DNS server as I mentioned its name is going to be master.opensky.home this is FQDN and alias is master so that's done let's save this file let's verify contents again to make sure everything is good looks good to me next thing let's check SE Linux status so you can run SE status on and right now it's enabled. So let me disable it. To disable, simply do vi ovm etc sysconfig as Linux. Here you can see right now it's set to enforcing. So I'm going to comment this entry. I'm going to add new entry where I'm going to see it's disabled. You can see it's mentioned to disable. We have to put keyword disable. And the setting will be in effect when I reboot my system but right now I can use set enforce 0 which is going to turn the SC Linux from enforcing to permissive mode permissive is still like uh, it's enabled but uh, it's not working it will allow everything let's check you can see here it's permissive mode and uh, mode from config file that's disabled everything looks good to me and now let's do the installation of uh, bind packages Okay, let me show you my yum repository. 
you can see it got uh, connected with CentOS repository. I'm going to install a bind package. So you can do yum install bind and bind dash utils. I'm saying yes. So it will not wait for my answer to say yes when it prompts. You can see they are part of updates repository. They are getting installed. So installation is done. That's good. So let's verify whether both packages got installed or not. You can run rpm minus q bind and bind utils. These are two packages. You can see both are listed. So we got bind installed properly. So that's a good thing, guys. Uh, you can see what is the bind service or bind server we are running. That's 9.9.4. So that's a way like you can find uh, what's your bind version here 9.9.4 that's all in this session guys and in next section we will be talking about uh, configuring firewall rules for dns thank you